Kenya is still a popular destination. It is a pioneer in conservation of wildlife and we are the only country in the wildlife uh, uh, circuit that we don't have hunting and we conserve our, our environment and our fauna. So definitely it is, a, it is a popular destination. It's a combination of beach and safari, uh, culture, sports, tourism. So we have all in one in, uh, in Kenya. Uh, we have a program of ecotourism uh, through the society and through community participation, both in terms of communities like the Maasai's, but in terms of the communities like the Beach Boys on the beach that we work with them. Now we are working a program of building beach markets for the Beach Boys and move them from the beach and have a code of conduct and regulate the beach operators. So these are programs that uh, will bring ownership to the local communities so that tomorrow when there is an issue about tourism, they'll become the number one defender of the sector. Uh, yes, in the, in the beginning of the year we had problems politically, but now we are stable with the coalition government. It's working very well. We are focused on what should be done right. Uh, all travel uh, advisories are positive now for Kenya. Kenya is safe. And also, even during the difficult times, no single tourist was attacked and not a single resort or tourism circuits were uh, attacked or destroyed. Uh, tourism is very important for our people. It generates one billion US dollars for our economy. And that is what gives free education to the people of Kenya, free health care for the people of Kenya, and as well as security for the people of Kenya. So every single visitor who comes to Kenya is three people get employed. So we want the tourists to appreciate when they come to visit Kenya, they make a difference in every child, uh, every Kenyan child in our communities. Well, uh, first, uh, tourism is about 10 to 12 percent of the GDP, so it is a crucial uh, sector for the economy. So it makes a difference in terms of career, yes, the hospitality, the entertainment industry, the art sector, and the cultural industry benefits from tourism because it's interconnected. Also, the, 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 the linkages of tourism in terms of benefits is from agriculture uh, to finance to commerce and to to government as well so uh, south africa as uh, pride of hosting the world cup is a pride for africa as well and i believe in complementarity i believe uh, southern africa and eastern africa should complement each other work together uh, very soon I'll be signing a memorandum of understanding of collaboration and cooperation between Kenya and South Africa, the Minister of uh, Tourism as well. Uh, we're going to have that ceremony very soon. As well as uh, for the World Cup, definitely Kenya has the number of hotels. Kenya have a well-established mature uh, product. Uh, and uh, if we can get transiting uh, uh, sports people to come via Kenya, or after the event, or during the event for lack of space. It's only four hours between Kenya and South Africa. So it's not the time difference that we're talking about. It's complementing each other. Um, one final question. A lot of African nations are stressing value for money in, uh, in terms of a holiday, in terms of a, a leisure vacation, uh, in these times of uh, where the rest of the world is appearing to go into economic turmoil. Africa would appear to be not quite so embroiled in it. Um, is, does Kenya represent a good value destination? Uh, yes, a combination of all what I was just said, of the product being beach, safari, uh, culture, sports, uh, adventure. Uh, all this actually is available in Kenya. And we want to open the new routes, which we call the Obama routes, uh, which goes via the Rift Valley to the green plantations of tea, uh, to Lake Victoria, to the forest of Kakamega, uh, the African forest and then to Obama's village. Uh, this is an innovation that we are taking up now and uh, definitely we are proud of the identity uh, of Obama to be his ancestors to be Kenyan. Uh, we appreciate the challenges he's undergone and definitely we want to give him all the support that he can.